Influenza is a common illness that occurs every fall, winter, and early spring. Uh, there's two main strains that affect humans, uh, influenza A and B, and they lead to our annual outbreaks. It can cause a very severe illness associated with a sudden onset of high fever, cough, sore muscles, headache, and that's, it's much more uh, severe than the common cold. Some people particularly can get severe complications, particularly people with underlying medical problems like heart disease, lung disease. It's particularly dangerous in the elderly and in small children. So the biggest thing we can do is try to prevent people getting influenza. In order to prevent people from getting it, there are simple things like hand washing, uh, avoiding close contact with people who are ill, and this is something in the hospital we use with isolation, with contact and droplet precautions. And the biggest thing we can do is influenza vaccination both of the people who are at risk of getting influenza and the people around them who are at risk of transmitting influenza to them to protect those who are most at risk. Flu vaccine is not a live vaccine. The virus is actually dead. So you can't catch the flu from a dead virus. Other concerns that people commonly have, uh, one is Guillain-Barre. It's important to realize this is an extremely rare condition. It can happen in people who had the flu, and in fact the influenza itself is more likely to cause this problem than is the vaccine. The other concern that some people have is thimerosal. It's important to realize this is a very tiny amount of mercury. Are there any individuals who should not be getting the flu vaccine? Only people who've had a severe reaction to influenza vaccine before. The vast majority of people who have concerns about flu vaccine actually can get it. The two most common concerns people have are one, egg allergy. It is true that influenza vaccine is made from egg cultures. However, the amount of egg in the vaccine is so tiny that it would be extremely unusual for it to cause any symptoms. And so now the uh, advice to avoid influenza vaccine in people with egg allergy has been removed. The other thing that people worry about is pregnancy. And there is no evidence of increased uh, complications to the mother or the unborn child with influenza vaccine. What there is strong evidence of is that mothers who are pregnant and get influenza while pregnant can, this can lead to severe complications in the child, uh, low, uh, low birth weight birth, premature delivery, and other serious complications by the mother not being protected against influenza. Why do we need to take the flu shot every year? There's two main reasons. Firstly, the immunity to influenza is not long term. It lasts for approximately one flu season. The other thing is the strains can slightly change from season to season, and some seasons they change dramatically. And so the vaccine that you had the year before may be for slightly different or quite dramatically different strains than are circulating this year. In our hospital, we get several outbreaks. Do they have to take Tamiflu each time there is an outbreak if they are unvaccinated? Yes, each time there's an outbreak, and the staff would have to be on Tamiflu again. I'm not sure if people realize that they can spread the virus even if when they are feeling well. Some people will get the virus and spread a little bit of the virus and can actually spread significant amounts of the virus and never get ill. But they still could infect other people. And people who do become ill often will start spreading the virus for up to a day before they feel any symptoms. And so just saying, well, I'll stay home if I get sick, unfortunately doesn't protect our patients. So it's another reason why it's so critical that we vaccinate.